in this video we will find which of the following sets have closure property with respect to addition and multiplication in first one the set contains just one element that is zero and in the second question the set contains an element which is one now coming towards the solution of first question Firstly, we will check closure property with respect to addition. The definition of closure property with respect to addition is for all x, y belong to a set A, x plus y must also belong to set A. It means that addition of any two elements of a set must also belong to that set. Then we can say that the set is closed under addition. Now let's name the given set as A. So we can write A is equal to 0. Since there is just one element in the given set, so to check the closure property with respect to addition we will add 0 plus 0 which is equal to 0 and we can clearly see that 0 belong to set A. After adding the elements of A the answer also belongs to set A. So we can say that the closure property with respect to addition holds for this set. So we can write set A which is equal to 0 has closure property with respect to addition. Now we will check closure property with respect to multiplication. The definition of closure property with respect to multiplication is for all x, y belong to A, x dot y also belong to set A. It means that for all elements x, y belong to set A, their product must also belong to set A. Then we can say that closure property with respect to multiplication holds for the set A. Let's name this set as A so we can write A equal to 0. Since there is just one element in this set, so we will multiply 0 with 0. And 0 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 and we can clearly see that 0 belong to set A. After multiplying the elements of set A, we can clearly see that its answer is also in set A. So, closure property with respect to multiplication holds for set A. So, we can write set A which is equal to singleton 0 has closure property with respect to multiplication. 